Hi everyone, welcome to the linear programming problem. So we are doing the graphical method and in graphical method now we are starting the passenger or air aeroplane problem we can say it. So uh, this type of question come very rarely but uh, we will uh, see that how we solve the passenger problem. So I have taken the one example before you. So let's start the problem that what it says that there is an aeroplane who can carry maximum 200 passengers who can carry maximum 200 passengers and there is a profit of rupees 1000 on each executive class ticket on executive class ticket there is a profit of rupees 1000 and on economy class ticket there is a profit of rupees 600 so i hope you understood uh, till the second line the airline reserves at least 20 seats for executive class. कि जो airline है वो reserve रखती है 20 seats of the executive class. However, there is at least four times as many passengers prefer to travel by economy class rather than executive class. तो four times of executive class के जो passengers हैं वो economy class में जाना prefer करते हैं. Now we have to determine that how many tickets of each must be sold in order to maximize the profit. My means we have to maximize the profit that on how much of each of the tickets should be sold and then we have to tell the maximum profit. So I hope you have to understand the question that there is an aeroplane in which there are 200 passengers in which there are 200 business and economy class tickets and on selling the executive class ticket there is a profit of 1000 and on selling the economy class ticket there is a profit of 600 there is at least 20 seat reserved for the executive class and more people want or prefer to go by the economy class rather than the executive class so that's all for the question now comes to the question uh, uh, comes to the solution part in the solution we know first we will create our table so to create a table as we can see we have the two classes that is given to me that is the executive class and economy class in the question only one thing is given to me that uh, thousand of uh, for the executive class profit and profit of the economy class ticket is 600 so I have just put the value of the profit in the table that is 1000 for the economy and 600 for 1000 uh, for the executive and 600 for the economy. I have assumed the executive class to be the 1000 and economy class to be the 600. So now comes to the objective function and constraint part. And this is what this is what your objective function because question asks you about the maximization of the profit. So your maximization of the profit will become your the objective function that is the maximum z is equals to the thousand x plus 600 y. So that's all for your objective function. Now comes to the constraint part. So from the first line start it is given to you. You have the two types of classes that is the executive and economy class. And it is given to you there there is a space of maximum 200 passengers. So when there is a maximum of 200 passengers, we know the number of seat of x plus y will not exceed 200. So your first constraint would be your x plus y is less than or equals to 200. Then in the second line, if there is a profit, so we have already made the equation of the profit. Now in the third line, it is given to me the A line reserve at least 20 seats for the executive. So we have assumed for the executive to be x. And there is at least 20. At least 20 means greater than equals to 20. So that's all for your second constraint. Now for the third con constraint, it is given to you that is four times as passenger prefer to travel by the economy class so, rather than by the executive class. So there is a x time passengers. There is a x time x passengers of the executive class, and there is a y passenger for the uh, economy class so the question is saying four times passengers prefer to travel by economy class but the economy class mein jana hai logo ko. and how many times 
four times by the executive class. So executive class is what four. So four times of executive class के अंदर ठीक है तो फोर टाइम्स ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिव क्लास इज इक्वल टू द इकोनॉमिक क्लास मीन पीपल प्रेफर टू ट्रेवल दी एग्जीक्यूटिव क्लास एंड देयर इज अटलीस्ट साइन सो एटलीस्ट साइन मीन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू सो ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू मीन दिस सो वी हैव टू ओपन आर माउथ टू वर्ड द वाई सो द नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन वुड बी यूर वाई ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फोर एक्स सो दैट फॉर यूर थर्ड इक्वेशन नाउ टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ वी नीड द Uh, minimum two coordinates of each equation to draw the line graph so from the first constraint we can see if we assume x to be 100 then i will get the y to be 200 and if i assume y to be 0 then x to be the 200 so that's all for the coordinate of the first equation second uh, uh, equation is x is greater than equals to 20 so that's uh, is already an equation mean the line will come parallel to the y axis when we know when the x is equals to 20 to draw the graph of this line we know this line is parallel to the y axis now comes to the third equation that is y greater than equals to 4x so in this consider first that is y to be 0 that is y is equals to 4x when y is 0 you will get x is equals to what you will get x again to be 0 because 0 by 4 is 0 so you will get x to be 0 so first coordinate would be 0 0 when you consider you can take the value of x to be 10 20 30 if you take x to be 10 then you will get y to be 4 into 10 if you get if you consider x to be 20 then you will get y to be 4 into 20 so the second coordinate you can make to be like this so i hope till here you have understood very well now come to the graph part so for the graph part we have to consider the constraint and in the constraint i have seen that uh, uh, in the first equation in the first part it is given to me that uh, the two coordinate are 0 comma 200 and 200 comma 0 so the green line showing the graph of the first equation that is 0 comma 200 and 200 comma 0 so that's all for the first equation graph that is 0 comma 200 and 200 comma 0 the graph of the first equation then second equation is x is equals to 20 so x is equals to 20 will come to the line parallel to the y axis so the blue color line showing which pass from the x coordinate to the 20 is parallel to the y axis so y, blue line you can see is of the second equation then third equation is y is equals to 4x so the two coordinates are given to you that is 0 comma 0 and 20 comma 80 so 20 comma 80 you can see here so by joining the two line of this you can say you can see the pink line graph the pink line graph is of the equation y is equals to 4x now we have to see the shaded area of the line so what is given to me the first equation is x plus y is e is less than equals to 20 now for the green line consider the point on the region on the region we know the x and y to be 0 when x and y is 0 when x and y is 0 then if it satisfy the equation then it means the shaded portion towards the origin so we can see it is satisfy the equation so the shaded portion will be towards the origin so you will make the arrow towards the origin now come to the second part and the second part is showing that x is greater than equals to 20 x is greater than equals to 20 when i consider uh, left side of the blue line i will get uh, the value of x coordinate to be 0 is 0 less than equals to 20 agar main left side pe jaunga blue line ke to mere coordinate kya milega 0 0 milega aur 0 0 means x coordinate 0 hai to kya 0 20 se greater than hai no it means ki jo blue line pe hoga wo right hand side pe shaded hoga because mereko x ki value greater than 20 chahiye greater than 20 kahan lay karegi on the right hand side now comes to the third equation that is zero that is y is greater than equals to 4x so if i consider the point 
now it is already passing from the region so you can take any point suppose i have taken that uh, this point so i have taken the point here you can say or you can say to be here so here i can see the value of x coordinate is 20 so i will put the value of x coordinate is 20 and y coordinate is 100 so y coordinate is 100 so by solving this i can see i will get 100 is greater than equals to 80 so it is satisfying this equation so if it is satisfying this equation means the pink line graph will towards the y axis towards the y axis now we have pink line ke left hand side or right hand side you can consider any point if it satisfies it then it will be shaded on the other side otherwise it will so again you can see or if you have this pink line ke, jo third equation ke line if you have a right hand side pe koi point le, to suppose I have this point leta on the x axis that is 20 comma 0 अगर मैं इसको सेटिस्फाई कराता है इस इक्वेशन में दैट इज y is greater than 4x सो यू कैन सी y कोऑर्डिनेट आपका 0 है और x कोऑर्डिनेट 20 है तो क्या 0 is greater than equals to 80 नो सो इट मींस कि जो थर्ड uh, इक्वेशन की लाइन है वो नॉट टुवर्ड्स द राइट हैंड साइड बल्कि टुवर्ड्स y एक्सिस दैट इज लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे ही आपकी शेड होगी सो यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर आई होप आपको इधर से ये चीज अच्छे से क्लियर हो गई होगी नाउ we have to see the common area. So common area which come in the shaded area is this. So this is the shaded area and we can see that it is bounded. If it is bounded then we will consider the point that is A, B and C. The shaded area A, B, C is what the feasible region which is bounded. So it is bounded from all the side and it is a feasible region. So we will get the answer. Now we can see all the three points are on the intersection of the Two line. So to find the A point, we will consider the equation of the two line which are intersecting. So the first equation is x is equals to 20 and second equation is x plus y is equals to 200. To find this equation, you just have to put the values that is the first equation is x is equals to 20 and second equation is x plus y is equals to 200. So just put the value of x coordinate that is 20 plus y is equals to 200. You will get y is equals to 200 minus 20. You will get y is equals to 180. So a, the a coordinate value is 20 comma 180. So by the elimination of substitution you can say the value of the a coordinate is 80. To find the b coordinate the b coordinate you can see the b coordinate is the intersection of the first line is again this and the second line is y is equals to 4x so the b coordinate is the intersection of x plus y is equals to 200 and the second equation is y is equals to 4x just put the value of the y coordinate that is x plus 4x is equals to 200 you will get 5x is equals to 200 you will get x is equals to 40 so when you get x is equals to 40 just put the y is equals to 4 into 40 then you will get 160 so you get the b coordinate that is 40 and 160 similarly you will find the c coordinate okay so after getting the point i can see the coordinate points are the a b and c so a coordinate we have find b coordinate we have find and similarly c coordinate you will find the intersection of the two lines just put the values now your function is given to you that is the thousand x plus 600 y so we have to maximize this function that is a thousand x plus 600 y so just put the value of a coordinate so a coordinate is given to you that is 0 comma 180 so 0 is the value of x coordinate and 180 is the value of the y coordinate. Just put the value that is 1000 into 0 plus 600 into 180. So after solving this you will get 1,8000. So just similarly you have to find the value of b and c coordinate. When you put the value of b coordinate that is x to be 40 and y to be 160. 
similarly for the c coordinate x to be 20 and y to be 80 now the question is we have to maximize our function so we have to see the maximum value so we can see from here that the maximum value we get on the b point that is on the b coordinate that is 1 lakh 36 thousand 1 lakh 36 thousand is my the profit at the b point that is 40 comma 160 and what does this 40 and uh, 160 signify 40 signify that it is for the executive class that if he sell the executive class ticket of uh, to the 40 passengers and 160 tickets for the economy class then he will get the maximum profit of 1 lakh 36 thousand so i hope you understood the question very well and if you understand then please like subscribe and share and thank you for watching this video